Hey guys, this is Hong Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I have my beautiful friend Caroline Kelly here. I haven't seen Caroline for a few years, but she still looks as stunning as ever. And I was so inspired that I'm doing this beautiful bombshell look for you. And the color I'm using is more all monochrome, all the shades with the eye and the lip, the blush, all kind of similar to each other. I hope you enjoyed the look. Give us a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to follow both Caroline and I on Instagram as well. Thank you so much for all the support of the channel so far. I hope you enjoyed it a lot. Thank you. Bye-bye. To start every makeup, I always give some love to the skin. I think that's the key of having amazing, beautiful makeup. Always remember to hydrate the lips really well because later on the lipstick gonna go on a lot easier. After cleansing the skin, I like to start with some serum. If you need some brightening, then I recommend you vitamin C serum. The skin need more hydration, then I would use hyaluronic serum or something like that. Because I know a lot of questions ask me what serum they should use. I like to press the serum to the skin first before I use any kind of moisturizer. For moisturizer, try to massage the skin to wake the skin up. I always like to give a little massage around the mouth here because that's where you have a lot of knots. Caroline have amazing skin, but even someone who have amazing skin, I still recommend you to use skincare to prep really well before makeup. And always don't forget to give some love under the eyes as well. Close the eye. I also put a little bit on the lid to prime them. For foundation and concealer, I'm using Fauchiller Foundation from Monica Blunder Makeup and the two concealer from Giorgio Armani Cosmetic. And the Giorgio Armani, I use two different shades. The lighter shade, I use mainly under the eye, the bridge of the nose, and on the chin area, the darker color, I cover any pigmentation or anything that I want to cover. The foundation concealer for Monica, you can use it as concealer as well, but I try to use this only as the foundation because I like a little more brighter under the eye. Caroline's skin, a little lighter on the face than the body, but we would like to keep her a little tan for the look I'm doing. So I'm use foundation closer to the body than the face we try to blend it together and today I'm using a kabuki brush this foundation and concealer is really beautiful it is more like a creamy foundation Monica is an amazing makeup artist based in LA. She does a lot of celebrity. She just launched the line and I think you guys should check it out. And you can see K 
Kerlite doesn't need any concealer really after the foundation. You can use the same foundation and then you just add a little more in any kind of pigmentation. You don't really need to use an extra concealer if you don't want to. For someone who use the Kabuki brush like this, if you do this direction like this, you will get more sheer coverage. But if you want to get more coverage, you just press like this. This way you can get a lot more coverage if you want to. And for me, I think on Caroline's skin, I'm doing a little bit of both. Certain area, I just really just go by really quick just to get a tiny even on the skin. But then some area, I just want to press them if I want to cover them really well. For the lighter concealer, I'm using under the eye. I decide to use more a lighter peachy undertone because I think it's helped to cancel out the under the eyes a little bit. Is that another tip for you when you choose a concealer? And for this lighter concealer, I only use under the eye area right here. Using the brush, blend in with my finger as well. Same concealer, I create a little highlight on the middle of the forehead here. A tiny bit on the bridge of the nose because I'm gonna do a little contour after and I think the lightness on the bridge of nose helps to shape the nose. Little tip of the lips on the chin area. For everywhere else on the face, I'm using a dark concealer and this concealer shade is pretty close to the shade of the foundation. But then again, I said earlier, the foundation from Monica Blunder, it works as a concealer as well. So you can just use that foundation to do both. And on Caroline, I just use this concealer around the nose and I cover any pigmentation. And I use a little brush like this just pinpoint to cover them. I also going to use a little concealer around the mouth because later on it's going to help more clean the shape on the lips. For contour, I'm using a little bit Tantour from Huda Beauty. Caroline really doesn't need any contour because she has amazing bone structure. But I love the idea to bring out everything even more for the look I'm doing. I just do mainly all the outer part of the face. You just shape in the face even more just from using a little bit. The shade I'm using is light. I know it's called light, but it has a lot of color still. So choose your color wisely when you buy them. They also have a lighter shade called Fair. So if this shade you find too dark, you can go for a lighter shade. But the light shade from this contour is pretty dark. I know a lot of you always DM me what product I use for the shoot. But as you all know, if you pay attention, is we always listed the product along the side of the video what we use and also on the description box we always list everything in detail even from tiniest brush or anything 
So in the future, if you want to find out what I use, just go down to the description box and you find out everything. You don't have to DM me, but trust me, I won't have the time to answer everyone. For contour on the cheek, so the best way you want to feel, this is where I want to do the contour, right below the cheekbone. And I blend it up. If that's when you want to know where exactly you can contour the face. Not on top here, right down here. And the same thing when you do a highlight, not here, I would do it right on top of the bone there because it's going to show the highlight better. And on the nose, Caroline has a great shape of the nose, so I don't want to do too much contour. I just do a little blending on the edges like this. But myself, even when I contour a nose, I don't like it like perfectly the bridge because to me, it looks like contouring. So this way, you just keep, create a little shadow and it looks way more natural. For powder, I'm going to use the powder from One Side Beauty by Patrick Star. A little bit under the eye. And on the T-zone area. This powder is have a very natural blurring effect. It's quite beautiful. You guys should check it out as well. I love using this powder also for baking. It's very, very light. To set the contour as well, I'm using bronzer to do that. And I'm using some bronzer from Tom Ford. And basically, I go back to where I did the contour earlier, and I set it. For eyebrow, I'm going to use two eyebrow products from Anastasia Beverly Hue and the shade I'm going to use is taupe. Mostly I'm using the brow width on the outer part of the eyebrow and the pen I'm using to create some individual hair. What I'm doing right now is brushing the hair down this way so I can see exactly where I want to draw the shape of the brow. And then after that, I will brush the hair back. Caroline have great shape of brown, but I'm trying to keep it more lifted and make them even fuller on the front area. There you go. And for the front area, I'm going to use the shade also in top. Just create a few individual hair. And have to shape the eyebrow. I'm going to gel them after. But before that, I would do the other side. And that is the shape of the brow. I know it looks quite dark and quite strong, but I love it. And also you see it look really dark just because Caroline doesn't have eye makeup yet and any lips or blush. But I think when you have blonde hair, sometimes it looks great with more like a darker brown as well. 
to set the brow I'm going to use a new product from them and this is a brow wax and what you do is a little bit like this and not too much and then you can gel the brow into place this is by far my most favorite brow wax out there it's not too complicated it's pretty easy to do and it doesn't give you that white finish that a lot of brow wax does when you comb it out and this video definitely not a sponsor video I'm just gonna share with you what the new products that I like the way how you would use the wax is you just use a little spool like, like this you dip a little bit on the wax not too much and then you just brush it up and you see now it's hold the eyebrow in place and it gives you that individual hair that you can see to prime the eye I'm using an eye basics from Laura Mercier in the shade week this way that I can be prepped for all the eyeshadow I'm putting on for eyes I'm going to use an eyeliner from one side and eyeshadow palette from Jason Wu Beauty and all the tone I'm going to use more around the shade so it's more monochrome makeup that I'm doing the shade I'm going to use I think this one this one around here not too dark but just keep Caroline that bombshell sexy look and the color of the eyeliner I'm using is more like a darker brow color it's a long wear pencil and you just along the lash line and just match it out to start I'm gonna brown the lid again with this color right here it's actually almost the same shade of the eyes basics primer that I used earlier so if you don't want to use another shade on top, you can. Look up for me. The same shade, same brush. I'm doing a little bit on the lower lash line. And you can go a little further out like this so it look a little soft smoky next I'm going to use this shade right here mainly on the crease area normally people would think of bombshell was like brown tone or you know like softer tone but I'm trying to use more warmer shades and all the shades I'm using are very more to come with each other you see that I just do a little bit on the crease Same shade, same brush, close your eyes. I'm doing a little more on the outer part of the eyes. And then I'm gonna blend outward and upward. This way it will give the eyes a little lift. I'm gonna do the same on the eye. Go back to the first shade I'm using to blend out all the edges. Close your eye. I mentioned earlier that I'm going to use these three shades but I think just the two shades alone is beautiful 
so I don't need it. I changed my mind. I'm gonna go this shade right here. A little bit on the brow bone. Very little. You see how gentle my hand are. So you don't want to get too much product deposit in there. For the eyeliner, this is a long way eyeliner. So make sure to do one side at a time. This is a beautiful deep chocolate brown color. And what I'm doing mainly on the outer part of the eyes to give the eyes more lift. Again, it's long wear. Just do one at a time. And you can see, and I blend it up. And I'm doing a very thin, thin line on the inner part of the eye. And using a smudgy brush, just blend out a little bit. If you want the eyeliner more smudgy, you can use a cold pencil, but this long wear, you just gonna blend a little bit only, but it will last for you for a long time. Look down for me, Caroline. And I also gonna use a little bit on the upper lash line as well. For this look, you can also use black liner or any other color. I thought this beautiful brown color is more like a coffee shade and I think it's gorgeous. That's why I use this color instead. This is gonna give the eyes a lot of depth. Here we go. I always curl the lash a little bit before mascara. I think it does help to lift the eye up a lot more. For mascara, I'm using the new Volumizing Mascara from Bite Beauty. For anyone who like Clean Beauty, this is a great brand for you to check it out. And usually for mascara for Clean Beauty, I have a hard time to find a good mascara that I like, especially Volumizing Mascara. And this one is actually a very nice one. I'm gonna do two coats on the upper lashes and one coat on the lower lashes. I like to wiggle on the lash line before I brush it up. I'm going back to the first palette again, close your eye, and I touch up the crease a little more because I used the finger to hold the skin up when I do the mascara. This palette is fantastic palette for you to check it out. The price is very affordable and I think they sell at Target. This is a great brand. It's a new brand that you guys should check it out. They have amazing lipstick and eyeshadow and everything with a very affordable price. I'm going to do the lip first before I'm doing blush and highlight. The lips I'm going to do is the two products actually from Jason Wool Beauty as well. And again, this is not a sponsored video. They just a newly launched and I thought they have beautiful products so I would like to support them in this video. And the color I'm using is this color on the lips, but the lip liner, I'm going to do like a darker shade and then just blend it out before I do the lip cream. For the lips, I'm going to follow Caroline lower lip shape, like the way it is. For the upper part, on the outer part of the lips, I'm follow exactly the same way. But for the top part, instead of go exactly the way her lip shape, I'm gonna do slightly out of the part like this. It's not really overdraw the lip, but I just cheat them a tiny bit. So 
it gives you a more a bombshell lip shape. You can see what I'm doing right now, just a little bit over the lip shape. And then I also darken the outer part of the lips as well. Don't worry about how not perfect to shape the lip right now because I'm going to use a lip brush blend it out first before I even apply the lip cream as you can see it looks a little crazy right now but I'm using a lip brush and I blend it out first and you see I blend it out a little bit And now I'm using the lip cream, applying mainly on the outer part, and I blend it out to the edges as well. It gives you that more sultry, sexy look. For those who don't understand why I do a dark lip liner, it's more like a inspiration for me from the 90 lips. And if you prefer to use the same color lip liner as a lipstick, you can as well. This is just another way for you to do. I thought it just looked quite sensual and sexy this way, and that's why I'm doing it. For those who find the overdraw on the upper part too much, you don't have to do it. As I always say, makeup is personal. If it's not something you like, you don't have to do it. For me, I thought just an idea to create the illusion of the fuller upper lip be quite sensual. For blush, I'm going to use a cream blush from Rare Beauty. I think everything quite matte here. A little cream blush and highlighter gonna give more dimension on the look. And this is the shade I'm using. As well, this blush is a little bouncy and it's more in the matte side so it's still tied up to the whole look we're doing I find that I apply the blush a little too low so I use the same foundation brush I used earlier to dab them a little bit take away a tiny bit of the blush this is the best way to remove extra blush that you sometimes over apply. For highlighter, I'm using a highlighter from Rare Beauty as well. And the shade is called Mesmerai. What I'm doing, I mix it out first like this and then apply it on the cheek. I don't want overly highlight this look so I just want to put just a tiny bit on the cheekbone here on the tip of the nose and right here and over right here that's it to set a makeup I'm using some setting spray from Urban Decay it called All Nighter. That's the look guy. I hope you enjoy the look and uh, you know maybe a lighter color if you think on the lips or you can even try a black liner instead of dark brow. I love the idea of just like a dark chocolate brow like this pencil. I think it's quite modern that way. It's not too harsh. Some people might want to add a few individual lash or a thicker strip lashes. If that's your preference, you are welcome to do so. I hope you pick up some tips from the video. Give us some love. Subscribe to the channel. And I hope you subscribe to the channel because that's the only way that you encourage us to do more video for you. Give us a thumb up. Some beautiful comments for encouragement. Again, thanks so much for watching. Thank you.